book slump. I've been singing all of the deluxe songs of Sour. Let me rank them really quick for you. That could be fun. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. No. But these look fine. Ignore that one. But the thing that's motivating me to clean it right now is the fact that I can watch Bridgerton. Cute. I just love them. Like, they give off the perfect amount of, like, warm light. We have some catching up to do. It is... First of all, I was going to film last week, but I got sick and I got a sty. I still kind of have the bump, if you can see, but my eye was swollen. Here's a picture. Looked like that for... Okay, my dogs. Looked like that for a few days. Couldn't see out of it. <sighs> that just reminds me of, like, my reading. That's a whole other thing we have to get into. Haven't been reading. Just leave it at that for now. So I have this series on my channel where I pick a week every month and make myself do something that's either scary for me or like out of my comfort zone, hard for me to do, or just things I don't want to do. And I make myself do them because I want to get out of my comfort zone this year and learn new things and all this stuff. So I started that in February, I think. I have only had one successful video because last, no wait. Last month's February. So I started that in January. February came around, picked the cards, and it was a fail. I'll be honest. It was a fail, and then I didn't vlog at all. Like, I didn't film anything, so I had nothing to, like, put out. I'm not trying to hide the fact that I failed. I'll scream it from the rooftop. Hey, I failed. But I'll show you what the cards were. And on my... Actually, first I'll let you see my reaction to that, because immediately off the bat, I knew it was going to be a hard week. And... It, it was a bad week. No, this is actually the one that I wanted the least. So yeah, the cards were journal for 10 minutes, go to a local event or social outing at least two times this week. Why did I write that card? Don't know, but we're over it now. And do a craft. Basically, I didn't do that. And I tried, but it was just so mentally draining things were not aligning and I called it a fail and we're moving on we're done with that we're here now <clears throat> sorry if you hear anything in the background my boyfriend's doing something on his computer he has new fans he's super excited about it anyways so now we're here and we're starting we're trying again okay I'm not gonna fail twice in a row so we're doing whatever it is I pick this week and we're just gonna get into it because I need to stop talking and just get into the point of the video so yeah if you didn't see my last one basically I'm gonna pick first I'm gonna pick like the big activity for the week which is the hardest for me it's I call it an activity it's really torture <laughs> it's something I have to do this week that's gonna be hard for me to do then the small one is like a little bit better like maybe a load of laundry or something I've had that one before and then I get to do a reward because I need something to keep me motivated this week and I'll just take you throughout my week showing you the struggles and hopefully I succeed this week and we actually do it because it's like things that I want to do and get better at because I made this like for myself for the betterment of myself but sometimes I kind of overestimate what I'm capable of and that's something I'm learning throughout this too that I need to cut myself some slack sometimes so with that said we're gonna pick our first activity I think I can't remember I literally think I do biggest to smallest I think I do biggest to smallest I don't know but we're doing the biggest we're gonna do the biggest one now. This makes me so anxious to do. Just please give me a good one. Please. Go on at least two dates with yourself. What is with me doing this at least two with? One is enough. One is enough. But go on at least two dates. Okay. Go on at least two dates with yourself this week. That's not too bad. I'll take myself to coffee. Okay, not the worst. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> We've seen the worst. Okay, next small activity. Oh, I just really picked like the first one I didn't even. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Start a conversation with someone new. Maybe I'll do that on the date that I take myself on. 
I'll just introduce myself. Like, that's the easiest way to start a conversation. Just, like, introduce yourself and, like, oh, I say I love your outfit or something like that. Okay, it's not the worst. Maybe I'll make a friend. <laughs> okay, last one, my reward. Watch it be, like, buy a coffee. I'm already doing that by default, so hopefully it's not that one. I want to say buy a book. I want a book. Actually, I'm in a reading slump, but maybe a book, new book will help me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Buy something from your wish list. Fun. I don't really have a wish list, but I have, like, I always have something up here, you know? Like, there's always the tabs on my safari with clothes and stuff that I want to buy, so... We have options. I'll think on it, though. I usually do reward later in the week because... I like to think on that but that's fun that's what we got this week I think we can do it I, I know I'm doing it okay I'm doing it hey my voice has gotten worse it's made me not want to vlog because my voice but we're just gonna try to get through it but I wanted to chat about my book slump <laughs> mm. it's literally it's not that dramatic but it also is I've only read four books this month, and they're all for the same reading vlog. It's the fact that, like, I don't want to pick up a book at all. I hate when this happens to me. It's, like, so sad. And it's even worse because I think I single-handedly made myself get into this book slump with this reading vlog I was doing, which who knows when that will be up. But I picked books where I specifically had, like, high expectations for, and then all of them are just, like, you know. There's a little sneak peek for an upcoming reading vlog if it actually ever sees the light of day. I don't know. Anyways, so I've just been a little bit discouraged because I haven't wanted to read. And, like, I hate when that happens to me. I hate it. Because I do, like, love reading. And I don't have a current book and I go, like, three days without reading. It's, like, it's, my life's always, like, off balance or, like, out of sync. You know, like, something's not right. But every time I go to sit down and read, I'm like, mm, I should watch Bridgerton. Like, all I want to do is watch Bridgerton, which it's good. I'm not going to lie. But I want to read. I want to like want to read. I want to. I want to be in the mood to read. But like it's hard to just like force yourself back into it. But needless to say, I'm going to. I'm going to read Powerless. I've heard so many good things. I feel like if there's like one book that will get me out of a book slump, it's this. And we're gonna see. I might not comment too much about this book in this vlog because I am filming a whole reading vlog. This is the last book for that. So as soon as I'm done with this, that reading vlog can be out. I'm going to start this and read. I don't know if I'll vlog anything else today because I just want to lay down <laughs> and read and like rest. But tomorrow after work, I am going to go to Sprouts and get a sandwich because I've seen like on TikTok, I've seen on TikTok that they have like these $5 or maybe $6 like sandwiches and they look so good every time I see them. So I'm going to do that and that could maybe be my little date to myself. I kind of want to make tea because I've been watching Bridgerton and they always have tea and it just looks so good when they have like these cute little teapots and stuff and I'm sick so I feel like a tea would be good I don't know but oh uh, okay I'm gonna read I'll be here oh hi okay okay you're so cute I can't read but I don't care because it's He's so cute. Hey, it's later now. Guess what I didn't do? Hold on. Guess what I did as soon as that clip ended? I said I was going to read. Read five pages, put the book down, got on TikTok. Why? Like, it's... Uh... You know what? I've been singing. I've been singing all the deluxe songs of Sour by Olivia Rodrigo because it came out the other day on repeat. Let me rank them really quick for you. That could be fun. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I do know. Actually, I don't know. Okay. There's five songs. Okay. I'm going to say number one right now is Stranger. That one just hits deep. It hits me too deep. Second, I would say... So American is just so fun. I'll say So American. I'll have to say Scared of My Guitar because it's like the lyrics. They're so good and then obsessed i do love obsessed it's just like i like the other ones more right now because like they're new to me and then girl i've always been fifth probably but they're all good so that's why i've been listening to on repeat and they've been stuck in my head every single day it's tea time 
I've been looking forward to this all day. I have to pick my tea now. This one nearly had to steep for four minutes. This one's 15 minutes, so we're gonna go with the English breakfast because I'm lazy. Let me know. Oh, I'm like up close and personal. If you drink tea, let me know your favorite teas because I want to try like a bunch. You should see the little contraption I have you set up on. It's like candles on top of this coffee maker because I just use it for the hot water because I'm lazy. My tea's done. Oh, okay. My tea's done. I need to put some honey in it. It's like making me hot just like standing right here. Just, oh, I just got honey all over me. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. No. Dang it. <laughs> that one's... Ew. Alright, well, I might just suffer through it. Because I don't want to waste it. Okay, well, this was fun. Okay. You know when you just get, like, a craving for something and, like, you just can't stop thinking about it? That's me right now with chocolate chip cookies. So, I also made the mistake of going on TikTok and looking up chocolate chip cookies. Don't do that if you're not prepared to full-on start baking them right after. So I found this recipe on TikTok because I love when there's visuals. Like sometimes I want to see you bite into what you're cooking in order for me to be like convinced to try it. You know, so I always go to TikTok for recipes because I need to see it. And I found this recipe and we're going to do it. Not going to lie, we'll be having a little nibble of this. I know, salmonella. You know what's funny with me is I am terrified of like getting salmonella or like sick from raw meat and like I hate touching meat, I hate cross contamination, all that stuff. Like I'm such a stickler. But coquito, no, I don't care. I'm eating I'm eating it. I don't care. Brownie batter, I'm eating it. You know what I mean? Like I don't care at that point. I no longer know what salmonella is, I no longer care. I just want the raw coquito. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put it on a pan, put it in the oven. I'll see you after with the results. Okay, ignore the lighting, sorry. This is why I don't bake. Okay, look at this. Look. Yeah. I never started the timer. Never started the timer, but you know what? I just took them out. I think they're in there definitely more than 12 minutes, but they don't look that bad. Yes, these are huge. They're not supposed to be that big. But for some reason, I was feeling generous. But these look fine. Ignore that one. I'm just going to let them settle. Hopefully, they're going to taste good. I'm home from work. It is 2.23 right now. I did go to Sprouts and get my sandwich. I'm so excited. And I also got an Olipop. I haven't tried the ginger ale kind yet. So we'll try this in a minute. And then I got chips and my sandwich, which... It was so hot when I first got it, but now it's finally cooled off. $5 sandwich. I'll show you. I just get, like, turkey and lettuce <laughs> and mayonnaise. That's it. Oh, this is, like, kind of wet. The toaster, she was, like, saying her toaster oven, like, was acting funky. So here she is. Pretty big sandwich, I would say. Yeah, that's good. This tastes like ginger ale, actually. But you have to have it, like, in a cup with a straw. Well, it's just, like, not the same. I'm gonna go eat and watch Bridgerton. Don't know when I'll see you next, but... Oh, I want to eat my cookie after this. Those cookies were so good, I forgot to say. My cookies last night were worth it. You should make it. I'll link the recipe down below. Okay, I'm about to sit down and have my dinner. I'm in the living room because I'm going to watch Bridgerton while I eat. Because my boyfriend works till 8, like every day this week. Except for Friday. So we're going on a date night Friday, so that'll be fun. I want to watch Bridgerton. I'm on season 2 now. I don't know if I said that. It's not hitting the same as season 1, but it's still good. Like, I can see where it's going to go. I'm already on episode 3. I don't know. I just, like, don't care about Anthony. If they say like Anthony, I, I'm going to say Anthony. I just don't care about him that much. Like I like Simon and Daphne. So I'm a little bit sad that they're not in this as much. Like they're barely even in this last episode. I was like, where are they at? I know it's supposed to be about Anthony and maybe like Eloise and stuff, but I do like Eloise. 
<sighs> I have to clean my room. Like the only thing on my agenda today is cleaning this room and starting Powerless. Or not really starting because I did start it, but like got five pages in. But my room is another thing that's weighing on me mentally. It is a disaster. Like I had to maneuver this tripod around this giant pile of clothes right here. The, the rest of the room looks worse. My nightstand's terrible because it's like in sick mode. Like you know when you're sick and you just have like everything on your nightstand. But the thing that's motivating me to clean it right now is the fact that I can watch Bridgerton while I'm cleaning. Oh my god and you know when I was like oh I don't really like Anthony that much this season. Like I don't really care for him. Oh no that all changed last night when I got to the episode where let me reenact. But I'm leaving for India and it's not far enough. Do you think there's a corner of this earth you could travel to that can free me from this torment? Something like that. You are the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires? Okay. Okay, now I like them. So that's great. And now I need to watch more. Literally when that scene happened, my mouth, my jaw dropped. I was like, oh. okay, Anthony. And you know, I still haven't done my conversation with someone new. Or my dates. I mean, if you count my sprout sandwich, that's like, mm, that's not really. But tomorrow, I'm going to go tomorrow morning and get like a nice coffee and like walk through Barnes and maybe it'll help me out of my book slump. And then I still need to buy something on my wish list. So right now, I, I need to decide. I'm thinking between, I'm between an Iwala, a, a water bottle, a Walla water bottle, because I have Stanley's, but sometimes I just like to be able to have like a lid. So that's option A. Option B is like I really want new bookish t-shirts because I only have like one t-shirt and it's like fourth wing. And I just want like more bookish t-shirts that way I can wear in the spring and summer. And I've seen like some cute ones on TikTok shop and like Etsy shops and stuff. So that's my other option. Could I do both? Yes. Will I do both? Maybe. But I'm not deciding that today. I'll decide that tomorrow. Maybe. Or maybe tonight we'll order it. I can't do any of that till I clean my room. That's a need. I showered. I also cleaned the room. Well, okay. I cleaned this mess on... That was all the clothes on the floor and everything. Don't mind that. It's not mine. Not my problem. Anyways, we need to talk. There was a huge announcement today on Good Morning America. Yeah. That's the third book in the Imprint series, and it's coming out next January, January 21st, 2025. So less than a year. That's the good news. That's what I'm fo choosing to focus on, not the fact that it's so far away. So I need to pre-order this immediately. He's being grumpy. It's his feeding time. Why did I say it like feeding time? Anyways, let me hurry this up. I need to pre-order this immediately but while i'm on amazon i was like oh i should just order myself the awala for my reward you know i decided on the awala because i think it's like the practical choice and i was like oh, i really don't need more clothes right now like i'm i'm planning on doing a whole like april reset and like going through my clothes so, like spring cleaning going through all my clothes and everything so i told myself after i do that after i get rid of some clothes then i can buy some bookish t-shirts and stuff so that's why I'm going to get the Walla now because it's more like practical. I can use it for work, that kind of stuff. So do I need it now? I have two Stanleys, but like I want it and I'm just going to buy it eventually anyways. So the color I've landed on, it's called Iced Breeze on Amazon. It says it can come tomorrow maybe, so I'm going to get that and then go eat dinner. I'm starving. And then I'll hopefully vlog better tomorrow. I feel like this whole vlog, I'm just like picking up the camera random times and talking and then picking up the camera the next time. Not really showing much of like my week. But tomorrow I am going to go take myself on a little date to Barnes. You see my dog? So cute. Oh. Don't mind all the clothes. If you see any clothes, don't mind it because I changed my outfit like 10 times. And I can't wear mascara so I feel like I look weird. Just slightly, but it's fine. I just don't want to mess with like the sty. It's still healing and I don't want to risk it coming back. So we're not going to wear mascara or anything on my eyes today. But we're going to Barnes. We're going. I'm so excited. I like feel the energy already. I'm not there yet. So this is a good sign. And I just know when I walk into Barnes, like it's going to hit me. And I'm going to be like, okay, give me a book.
Okay, the lighting's kind of questionable. My heat. Oh, God. Ugh, okay. This person just got ruined. This car in front of me, my camera's on my dashboard. It's fine. Let's just pretend I don't care. It's hot, so I have to hurry this up because the car is not on. I'm also almost out of gas, so that's fun. But I did only buy two things, which I feel like is good for me. And only one of them is a book. So I did buy one book, but I had to get the Happily Ever After. Oh, it's just Happily Ever After. No, wait. I just can't read. Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. This is her newest book, and I didn't even know it was out yet, but and I saw it sitting there, and I was like, I need it because I love Lynn Painter. It's so short, too. Like, if there's any book that's going to get me out of my book slump, it's Lynn Painter. I just feel like this will definitely be read soon and maybe will help me out of my book slump. I don't know, but I bought it, so hopefully it does. And then I just got a notebook because I've been wanting to journal more, and I the notebook that I'm journaling in right now is like hard for me to write in because I'm left-handed so anytime there's like it's just like hard for me to like write on this side with like the spine but this one like lays completely flat and it doesn't really have a spine and I just thought that was great and it's also lined so I can write straight because if there's no lines I it'll look terrible and mess with me and I will restart a million times and I like the cover so that's great hopefully this will inspire me to journal more and then I'll also read this book soon and hopefully that gets me out of my book slump and it's so hot I need to start my car I think I'm gonna try a new coffee shop now I was just gonna go to Duncan I was like that's boring I think I'm gonna try a new one that's near here hopefully I don't regret that decision so yeah I'm gonna go get coffee also I did not talk to anyone in there first of all my voice like kept like you know and you can feel like that's gross but like saliva or like mucus in your throat and you just have to like clear your throat a million times that was me and I was just like I just know as soon as I try to talk to someone I'm like <laughs> you know and then I have to clear my throat and that's gonna be awkward so I just didn't and I'm by myself like I need like courage from other people to do that like I need emotional support if I'm gonna do that so I don't know maybe I'll start a conversation at dinner tonight I don't know I don't know I might fail on that but try again next time I don't know but, okay, I'm going to go get coffee now. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <clears throat> okay. Well, that angle was terrible. Oh. Oh. Sorry, this angle is terrible. Go up here. I'm like in okay that angle was actually terrible and I was trying to do it like last second I just need to like park and get my stuff together really quick and try this coffee <laughs> okay <clears throat> like I thought last minute oh like I should get a clip of me getting my coffee oh that's probably a worse angle I'm trying to like to not have my camera in the sun but it's just not happening this looks really good though the color the color is a 10 out of 10. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Ugh. It's just like $6, but it was worth it. It was good. And they're really nice. I was going to order a little snack, but then I got overwhelmed. Because there's like no one in line at all. And I've never looked at the menu before. So, I literally was just like, oh. Okay. And like, as soon as I pulled up, like... The menu and the speaker was right there, so I had, like, no time. So I just got an iced vanilla latte with oat milk. So good. All right, I'm going to go home now. Oh, I need to get gas, but maybe I'll get it tonight with my boyfriend, and he'll get it for me, you know? That's the plan. All right, let's go home. Dinner was good. We had Olive Garden. We were going to try somewhere new and then we were like, no, let's just go with our tried and true Olive Garden. Plus we had a gift card, so it was perfect. And then on the way back, we were I was talking about the new Dairy Queen dipped confetti cone that's like going around on TikTok. And then we were like, do you want to get Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen sounds kind of good. So then we ended up getting Dairy Queen. But neither of us got the cone because I'm, I don't like cones and I'm not a confetti girly. 
and it's not something my boyfriend really likes either so we didn't get that but i did get an oreo blizzard which is my go-to and it's very good and now we're gonna watch a movie i don't know what movie but we're just gonna browse and find something it's been a great night perfect date night this is really good i'm about to devour this i've been a terrible vlogger but to be fair i wasn't planning on extending the vlog to today until like yesterday so yeah i didn't vlog a lot today but i'm going to give you an amazon haul my gift to myself this week this is the color that i got can you see it looks like that i love the wall like i just love the little handle and then you push it up and then drink it's a sleigh all right <clears throat> this will be fun i'm glad i got to buy myself this or really i just had the excuse to buy myself this this week because i was probably gonna buy it anyways i got another set of the those like candles Oh, I'll show you in a minute, but I have like these candles on my bookshelf and I loved them so much that so I ordered more of them. They look like this. But you also need AA batteries for them. So I had to order batteries because we ran out. Cute. I just love them. Like they give off the perfect amount of like warm light. And they're going to look so cute on my bookshelf. I already have some and I need more. So they come in like a pack of six. I think they're like different sizes. One, two, three. Oh no, they come in a pack of five. But also what I love about them is they're remotely powered. So let me see if I can get my other ones on. You see that back there? Yeah. They're just like so easy to be like turn on and then, you know, let me finish these and then I'll put them on my shelf and come back. Okay, here's all my new lights. I think it's like so warm and cozy in here. I love all of my lights and I have my string lights. So cute. I want like a million of them, but like they're expensive. So I won't do that. Okay, this is going to be the end of today's vlog. So I did do most of my things this week. So my big thing this week was to go on two dates with myself, which I count... Because I had like a whole long morning to myself where I went to Barnes and then had coffee. And what else did I do? Oh, and I like took myself on like to get like my own sandwich at Sprouts. And like I never do stuff like that because I'm scared to go anywhere alone. And I feel like that is a win for me. So I'm counting it. And then smaller thing this week was to start a conversation with someone new, which I did today. Did I vlog it? No, because that's strange. But actually my cousin moved into a house in the same neighborhood as me and like him and his girlfriend and then another couple that they're friends with moved in together. So I met all of them. I haven't met any of them before. So I met all of them and started a conversation with them today. So I'm counting that. That was big for me. And I'm counting it. Um, there's no proof, but you just have to believe me. I promise that happened. <laughs> and then my reward was to buy something off my wishlist, which I bought my Iwala and some other things. But I would say we had a pretty successful week. Did I push myself out of my comfort zone? Yes, because like I said, going places alone is hard for me and scary and I try to avoid it. And I usually just don't do some things that I want to do on my own because it's scary, you know? Like I've mentioned this in other vlogs, but I'm trying to get better at going places alone. And this week I really did that. And I think that was out of my comfort. It was definitely out of my comfort zone and I pushed myself to do it. Was this like the hardest week ever? No, but like it was achievable, which I really liked and I feel inspired and motivated and I don't feel like really down like I did when I tried to do it in February. So I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much if you did watch this vlog. I love you so much and I'll see you really soon with another video. I promise. I know I've taken a little bit of a break, but I was like really sick and in a book slump, but I promise there's going to be a lot more videos in April. So, yeah, I'll see you really soon with another video. Yeah.